let's go for a ride! You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today! Cycle Cruiser videos brought to you at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You know, hot weather's coming up here pretty soon. And I know some of you viewers ask me about summer gear. And what are my recommendations? What do I, you know, what's good to wear out here in the summer? I'll tell you guys that, in my opinion, if you're on a budget and you want something that's going to keep you pretty safe, it's going to bring a lot of airflow. Is definitely look into that Perini armor jacket. I did a video on it way back. It's an armor jacket. It's it uh, has the mesh and it uh, you know it has all the sea armor all over you know the shoulders, chest, uh, your back. However, the side of you, your side is kind of vulnerable. That's on that jacket. That's the a con with that jacket, but it's still a pretty good jacket to wear. That's gonna keep you pretty safe out here on the streets another thing is is that the jacket is conducive to sliding so you're probably gonna if you went down at speed with that jacket on you're probably gonna slide a whole lot more than you would if you were wearing a leather jacket which could be bad and set you up for a real fucked up day you may end up sliding right into a telephone pole and split your wig split your helmet right open but uh, break your neck or whatever you know slide into any object even into a car or some oncoming car so that's something you want to be careful of so I really would not recommend that jacket for you know high speed riding if you're just gonna be tooling around here like I'm doing right now in the city it's an awesome jacket uh, it's inexpensive they even have the high-vis version now but it flows a ton of air it feels really good in the summertime you know really if you wear you know like this you know the motorcycle jacket I have right now the Icon Overlord Prime which they don't even sell anymore or at least this version they don't sell anymore uh, it's pretty good in the summertime when it's real hot though it's still hot as hell uh, but not too bad as long as you're riding it's gonna flow good air but when you stop riding, you're at stops, uh, you'll sweat up, you know, in any leather jacket, even no matter how much perforation it has. So that's something to be aware of. Now, I know they have textile jackets, you know, other type of materials, non-leather materials that are much cooler uh, to wear than leather. Uh, you definitely want to make sure it has some CE armor in it. I'll tell you guys is that... Uh, I had one of those textile jackets, didn't have CE armor in it, and they labeled it as a motorcycle jacket, which it, in my opinion, it, it, they made it look like a motorcycle jacket, but really that it's just the name. It was not a motorcycle jacket. I paid $50 for that piece of shit. When I went down on that, on that Chinese scooter, I freaking, uh, it was like I had nothing on, man. I had a big scrape on my arm, you know. You guys all know that when I ran around that corner, it was torrential rain, shitty tires on that Chinese scooter, slid through me down, and uh, that little nylon shit jacket was nothing, man. But the, obviously, if you're going to get the textile jackets, definitely, and definitely make sure it's got the CE armor in it. Um, but... You definitely, I'll tell you guys, it's better to sweat than bleed, you know. Don't get in, don't get out here wearing a t-shirt like a lot of these dickhead squids out here. These stupid Ohio squids, man. Uh, because I'll tell you guys, you know, I, I've done a hundred, many, I've done a bunch of videos, as you guys know, talking about uh, the dangers of not wearing gear. You know, you end up with getting skin grafts. If it scrapes down to the bone, it'll, you'll have horrific scars. It, you'll be in pain. It, it just ain't worth it. You want to wear that second skin, the leather most definitely. But 
if you can't wear leather then the sea armor jacket is good but like I said the textile is good just make sure it's got the sea armor in it and uh, but I'll tell you it can be kind of dangerous if you're wearing full leathers like a one-piece suit out here and it doesn't have much ventilation and you overheat you may pass out from from overheating so it's really not safe to be too hot so uh, but so yeah you got to be careful out there you know really super hot days uh, you may want to just throw on get one of those little CE armor jackets you know different not just Perini but other companies make them too they're really for um, dirt bikes to be honest with really for off-road it's not really meant for street riding like I said just tooling around here it's it's a good option obviously a uh, hundred times better than wearing nothing and uh, you know for pants I wear AGV Willow perforated leather pants but these son of a bitches can get real hot in the summertime man I'll tell you they flow pretty decent air good air as long as you ride but you're at stops your legs are gonna cook um, also I have some textile pants but I, what I'll do is I'll wear instead of the CE armor. One thing I don't like about with textile pants is that the CE armor will move around. So what I do is, in addition to the armor that's in the textile pants, I'll also I, I put on my uh, my dirt bike uh, knee shin guards. And because uh, I tell you guys, you know, you definitely want to be wearing some protection on your legs because if you go down, your legs take a real beating sometimes even more so than your upper body so that's something you got to be cautious of but if it's just too damn hot out you sometimes maybe you just want to want to sit it out and not ride maybe i don't know but hey guys i have a listing of all my gear at my website go to cyclecruiser.com click on the menu tab my gear and i have all my gear links to all my gear there uh so if you want to get what i'm wearing you can uh, you can get it there at those links and I've done videos on uh, review videos on all the gear that I wear so if you want to see that also uh, click on the menu tab my videos all my videos are categorized in the various playlists and hey hopefully you can find something that will inform you entertain you hey subscribe to my all on motorcycle channel hit thumbs up if you like this video I appreciate all you guys and uh, hey share this video Thanks, everybody. I appreciate you for, for viewing. And I want you guys all to stay safe out there. I don't want any of you to have a fucked up day. You know, wear that gear. Don't be a squid, you know. Don't don't get out here and, and wear muscle t-shirts trying to look cool, trying to look good for the ladies. Like I said, these women don't give a fuck about you, man. Ain't nobody paying attention to your ass. Just make sure you're staying safe. That's all that matters. That's all I have for you guys. Until next time. Deuces. Let's check out my other channel, Psycho Cruiser Motor Vlogs, where I discuss anything and everything, not just motorcycle shit.